controversial amendment heading to the Senate floor, possibly as soon as today. It's a proposal by Republican Senators David Vitter and Bob Bennett that calls for the Census Bureau for the first time ever to ask people whether they are in the United States legally or not. The amendment comes less than six months before the 2010 census questionnaires are supposed to be mailed to 135 million households in this country. So a good idea or not? Let's get a fair and balanced debate going with Maria Cardona, former senior advisor to Hillary Clinton when the Secretary of State was senator. Also executive director of the GOP Action Committee, or GOPAC, David Avella is with us. Welcome to both of you. Maria, it, you. it seems like a simple thing to ask whether or not people <laughs> are in this country illegally. I mean, if they're going to be counted, shouldn't they be here legally? Well, I think there's a couple of things we need to consider. First of all, I think it is a bad idea on the uh, the decennial census. This actual this question is actually already asked by the census in several other surveys, so we really don't need it. Secondly, from a fiscal standpoint, I think it's irresponsible, and it's interesting that Republicans who are trying to take back the mantle of fiscal responsibility are actually the ones who are proposing this. We have spent eight billion dollars so far on the planning of the census, and if this comes through, that would mean an additional bill billion dollars of taxpayer money going to this, not to mention the complication in terms of the planning and the timing that is already planned to get these questionnaires out. Well, David, obviously the, the, the rub for some is that, you know, in some of the larger cities, there may be tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants. If those people are counted as part of the census, um, you know, used to apportion con uh, congressional seats and so forth, if those people are counted but they're not necessarily here legally, doesn't that give extra weight to some of those states or cities? Absolutely. And it's, uh, Maria may be one of the few Democrats who are actually for fiscal responsibility, that to think <laughs> that someone who, uh, a farmer in uh, Iowa who are, isn't going to get farm benefits because money had to get diverted to another district to give services to illegal aliens who've never paid for them. That's not fiscally responsible, and it's also not fair. It's not fair to the unemployed worker in Michigan who's looking for unemployed benefits or the student who's looking for uh, college loans uh, when they can't get the money because there's only so much of the pie that uh, can be divided up. And if it's going to illegal aliens, it's not going to citizens who've actually paid for these services. What's wrong with the idea of just asking the question, Marie? I mean, if, if, if money were not an issue, if the forms hadn't sure. been partially printed already? Here's what's wrong with it. The 14th Amendment states that every 10 years there should be a count in this country, that everybody who is an inhabitant of this country needs to be counted. And yes, the reapportionment process is a very important part of this. And, and, and in addition, you know, this is a country of laws. Everybody who is here, whether you are a citizen or not, is protected by the laws. And so it goes that it is only fair that the people who are actually are going to make the laws should represent the number of people in those states. This is settled Supreme Court law, by the way. All right. So in addition to being unconstitutional, it's also un-American. All right. Well, David, but uh, if, if you're not here legally, you're not supposed to be voting, are you? not supposed to be voting and quite frankly not paying into the services. Uh, at, there's all kinds of questions we could debate. Should the government know our income levels? Should the government uh, know the citizens were, cities where we're born in? There's all kinds of confidential questions that some people may, or, may object to. One, they don't have to answer them on the census. Uh, two, uh, you know, just asking it doesn't mean uh, we're trying to throw them out. This isn't about pathway to citizenship. There should be a pathway to citizenship so people can become legal legal citizens. We're just trying to make sure that money is going to people who have actually paid for the services that government provides. All right, David well, Avella and Maria well, Cardona, we have to leave it there. The vote uh, could <laughs> come as early as today. We'll let everybody know what happens. Thank you both. Thanks, John.